example i'll show you with butane or pentane so for example i have pentane see 0 to 6 carbon atoms so i will start pentane 1 2 3 4 5 you guys okay with this is right when you heat it at a very high temperature like 900 degrees centigrade this containing containing yeah, i know that this sometimes containing 0 to 6 carbon atoms so what happens is the bond breaks is around 900 degrees centigrade in presence of steam they produce radicals by homolytic cleavage so what will happen one of the bond will break so what kind of bond are these what is the name fish hook it is not double arrow it is one sided arrow because the two electrons between these two carbon atoms half of that is going on to this carbon and another half is going on to that carbon so what happens over here you have three carbon with one electrons over here plus two carbon one electron over here around 900 degree around yeah it's around 850 to 900 so now that i have this there will be many molecules like that and they will form so that these are all radicals as the dot sign shows radicals see the temperature is so high 900 degree that they can easily break this bond but actually they can break this bond either also so now that i have one of those i can react two of this so this is nothing more than what carbon single bond carbon this is this carbon has how many hydrogens on this one three so let me draw that one and how many hydrogens are with this carbon huh? how many Hydrogens are over here. Two. So it will have two in there. There is two over here. And then there is a radical over there. Right? So if I have two of these, so now I have this. So there is this hydrogen, three of them, the right? One hydrogen, I just draw it three. Another hydrogen over here. And the third one is like that. So if you remember last chapter about radical, what will happen is, one of this electron will come over here again it is now forming the bond and then one of the radical from here one of the electrons from here will come and form the bond okay so if you have two of them let me show you what i mean so one so what will happen between the two carbon atoms now double one yeah so i have ch2 and one of these bond will break that will give the CH2. So I have the CH2 double bond CH2. And then I have what will happen from this? When one of the electrons come from this bond, what will happen with the hydrogen? So this will break. The other half of the electron will go on to the hydrogen, giving you what? What is that? This is a hydrogen atom. Yes, hydrogen atom has one electron. It has one electron, so it is a hydrogen atom. Can you get a hydrogen atom in the free state? No. So it will for it will look for another hydrogen atom to make a hydrogen molecule. Well, if one molecule give you this, so it will look two of them will give you two of this and then another hydrogen atom that is there will form another hydrogen atom. So now these two hydrogen atoms will combine to give you what? What is this? H2, hydrogen molecule. Okay, so this is H2. 
அடிச்சு மாண்டிக்கும் So the reaction that happens in this cracking is like this. I just showed you. The general formula of this reaction is CH3, CH2. So it can be any total number containing the n can be 0 to 6. So now n, CH3, this one on cracking. 900 degrees centigrade in presence of steam, it will give hydrogen as I have shown over here. Hydrogen is one of the products. N, yeah, N can be 0 to actually, this is what it is N 0 to 6 carbon in there. So N can be 0 to 6. So now I have this hydrogen gas. Actually, everything is going to be gas at that point of time. Plus, it can be CH2, double bond CH2, like the one that we showed. Or it can be, if it comes from this, three of this, is right? See, three carbon. So that will produce propylene. CH3, CH, double bond CH2. Or it can form even bigger one, CH3, CH2, CH, double one CH2. What is the name of this compound with four carbons? Hmm? So what would be the name? Butane, yeah. So butane is the hydrocarbon with no double bonds. So there is a double bond, so it should be butene. So you guys got that right. Do you know where can you get ethylene, the simplest one? Where does it exist? Yeah, ripening of fruit. So if you have some uh, bananas uh, ripening, you just uh, store it uh, inside a paper bag and there will be a lot of ethylene in, inside that paper bag. Do you know how this thing, the whole thing started? Let, you, let me tell you the story. It's interesting. You know, uh, Florida is a big orange producing state. You know that, yes? So, before electricity was used by the farmers in the farm, what they used to do in the cold season, in Florida, they used to put kerosene lamp uh, when it was uh, pretty cold. They used to put kerosene lamp in the house, in the barn, where they used to store the oranges to keep it a little warm. What they found was that when they were keeping it, you know, they were putting the light the oranges were ripening faster than when there was darkness in there. So what do you think that they were thinking? They thought that it is the light that is ripening the fruit, ripening the orange. So all of a sudden the light went up in their mind that, hey, if we put light in the barn house, then the oranges will ripe faster. Now, if you have to put light into all the big burn, then they have to spend, because you know, the kerosene lamp, the light doesn't go very far. The light is very weak. So they discovered that if they put the electric light that is was there at the time, they can light the whole area with only one bulb and the cost is going to go down. So they put the light bulb. So you would expect the oranges to ripen, like the way it used to happen with the kerosene lamp. Guess what? 